I'm glad to be here, so but I'm very nervous, so for this reason my English should be the worst uh, if it's possible. Uh, I talk about the SP and my experience in the Anna Damolo network. Anna Damolo was a uh, um, collective name and uh, a fake identity, uh, but also a networking project. And uh, it uh, started at uh, the end of uh, October 2008. And uh, uh, it was a creative and artistic answer uh, given by uh, researcher, uh, teacher, students uh, in, during uh, a period of demonstration against uh, a national education reform. And uh, um, Anna Damolo is the anagram of uh, Onda Nomala, that was the name of the movement uh, at that time. And uh, uh, Onda Nomala in English is anomalous way. And uh, it's important to um, talk about what was the political and social situation in uh, Italy at that time, because uh, uh, there was a, a movement named the uh, Anomalous Wave, and uh, this movement uh, gave itself um, the metaphor of, the, of wave, because uh, the people that, that are inside uh, they don't want to be um, represent uh, by anyone or intermediaries of or party, and uh, uh, they f they fight uh, against uh, uh, the mini education reform bill. It was uh, one of the attempt of the the reform of uh, uh, system educa educational system in Italy. Uh, now it's still under consideration the educational system, and uh, it will. Uh, establish uh, uh, several cuts on uh, culture and education and uh, fix the term of contract uh, for researcher and uh, uh, but the anonymous way movement uh, that wasn't uh, only on these um, terms because uh, it's um, um, the talking about anonymous ways uh, about uh, work and uh, um, the redistribution of wealth or uh, um, uh, democracy and uh, equality. Uh, Anna Damolo project was uh, a tentative or uh, occasion to uh, reflect on uh, what it mean with uh, to be represented in uh, uh, the, during the demonstration, and uh, it uh, started on uh, Facebook pages, and uh, the first uh, appear on these uh, pages as like. Uh, uh, she presented herself like uh, another candidate, an alternative to the reform bill, and uh, she looks uh, like um, uh, very ordinary women, but uh, um, had some details from the real minister, uh, like square glasses. Uh, and uh, uh, but um, if you um, are, if you the people who connected with the pages and Anna Damolo. Uh, received a particular request, they um, have to change their name and their profile picture with hers. And uh, um, at the same time, a blog was founded when uh, well, it was possible to download some materials and to get some information about this operation. And uh, the real, real, okay, uh, the identity of Anadamolo was revealed in uh, um, November 14. Uh, during uh, a national uh, big strike in Rome, uh, and uh, there was two um, operation, uh, a fake ministry site and uh, another operation on Facebook. And uh, the fake ministry site uh, was uh, a clone of uh, the website, official website of ministry, Italian Ministry of Education and uh, Public Education and Research. And uh, um, it was a clone. The uh, official one was never affected. But uh, um, uh, a newspaper uh, gave the news uh, that the uh, uh, website was hacked. And uh, but uh, when the people go to this website, um, it looks uh, very similar to the official one. You can see the two websites. And uh, uh, but after a few seconds, a video will pop up. And uh, there's, uh, in this video, um, the, there was uh, images of um, seeing 
wave uh, and uh, people in uh, demonstration and uh, uh, a voice declared Anna Daula as a new minister and uh, as a voice uh, through um, the people, uh, the single person can represent uh, uh, themselves in uh, during political struggle. And uh, after a video, um, uh, the visitors uh, was redirected to another website, and uh, in which there was uh, um, stories written and uh, previously recorded uh, recorded by people who have connected with uh, the project. And uh, the websites show a um, telephone number, and people can uh, call to express their experience, their hunger, their um, position in their social environment, institutional environment. And uh, at, in January 2009, Night Story was uh, written uh, uh, collaboratively by two, 22 people, uh, person, I think. And uh, a book was uh, published. Uh, the name of the book is uh, I'm Anna Damolo, Voices and uh, Stories from Anomalous way, and uh, the second operation on Facebook was on the um, Maria Stella Gemini profile on Facebook. Maria Stella Gemini was the um, Ministry of Education at this time, and uh, so gave the name of uh, the reform. And uh, at the end of the October, a um, fake profile of uh, Maria Stella Gemini was created by the um, people who were who are in the Anadamolo networks. And uh, the, in the same date of the fake ministry uh, website, uh, the Maya Stella Gemini profile was turned into Anadamolos. And uh, um, a lot of friends of uh, uh, Maria Stella Gemini uh, thought that uh, was a girl uh, on uh, the Maria Stella Gemini profile. And uh, at the, in the same time, uh, the I network... can say something because I think it's important to say that actually Maria Stella Germina didn't have an official Facebook profile. No, 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 profile. Because, because, uh, that uh, is why they created So this was totally the, yeah. the Maria Stella Germina. Because it was the 2008 and uh, at the time the, uh, Facebook was not so used in Italy. And, but, uh, and the politics uh, start to um, pay attention to Facebook and uh, the pages of uh, Facebook, uh, so the newspaper says, so there are a lot of pages uh, uh, against or uh, uh, in, uh, in favor of uh, Maria Stella Germini. And uh, so for this reason, we um, uh, create or um, think this uh, was uh, interesting to be in Facebook, but it was very unknown social network at the time in Italy. And so um, the people uh, don't know nothing about uh, the, um, how, how it works. And uh, for this reason and this news, uh, the, um, Anna Damolo uh, started uh, to circulate as a logo, and uh, it's very different from the, the previous picture. And uh, it uh, has a, a particular uh, um, graphic because um, this is connected with the wave, the hairstyle, uh, a wave, a sort of wave, and uh, a square glass, of, of course, from my Stella Gemini. But uh, she has the uh, mode because uh, um, the voice of people uh, was uh, the importance of this action, um, was the way uh, how the person, a single person, can uh, represent herself, uh, themselves in, uh, during the demonstration and to be conscious and uh, active in uh, political life. So, for this reason, Anna Damolo was a particular kind of network because it was a reflection about fake and uh, a sort of determinant or a plagiarism. But uh, um, at the same time, uh, it was connected to um, political practice during the demonstration. And the uh, movement uh, at that time chose uh, um, self-education and self-organization as practices. And uh, um, the, this kind of practice is, uh, in, uh, in, is uh, recreate a sort of uh, autonomous educational zone 
in which the people can connect to, together and uh, have an embodied relationship and uh, talk about their experience and uh, this is important to start from uh, where you are and uh, talk about what your uh, social uh, environment and to rethink, to create a new imaginary and uh, um, for this reason um, I now has two aspects. Uh, one is on the web and, uh, uh, and uh, on, uh, in uh, information and uh, one was uh, very performative, and uh, I want to show you a video. Sono Anna Davolo, sono la nuova ministra dell'istruzione di questo paese. Sono molto lieta di essere stata invitata a questa serata eh, che appunto parla di innovazione, quindi molto a che fare con la formazione e la ricerca. Con la manifestazione a Roma sono diventata io la ministra, quindi appunto qui abbiamo gli studenti che mi acclamano ogni volta che eh, passiamo per le strade e eh, volevo semplicemente dire quello che penso dell'innovazione. dell'innovazione per questo paese. La vera innovazione sarebbe lo stralcio della legge 133. La vera innovazione sarebbe finalmente un investimento serio sull'università e sulla ricerca. Questa è l'innovazione che io porterò in questo paese. Infatti il mio nome è l'anagramma di onda anomala, questa enorme mobilitazione che eh, si muove, si evolve di giorno in giorno e che ha portato a moltissimo, ha portato eh, gli studenti a parlare finalmente nelle università, a fare qualcosa, a pensare al loro futuro, a decidere sul loro futuro. Questa è l'innovazione. A playful way to uh, the change the political particle, very strong political particle, uh, with a mask and to have a different way to represent yourself, but it's uh, um, connected with uh, only in, uh, also with the relationship between people during this period. So, it's a 